hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to see how we can make use of this particular package which is ng angular pop-up okay so this basically helps us to make you uh, like if you want to use a toast notification in your angular application so for that you can directly install this package and you can directly use in your application all right so let me just tell you that i have created this library few days back and i have published it on npm as well so i would highly recommend you guys to please go ahead and download this and make use of it and if you face any error or any issue then you can directly contact me or you have my telegram link channel in my channel description as well so you can contact me any point of time if you face any issue related to this particular package all right so now if you have one more question that why we should use this particular package so the one good reason is the pack size if you see here so we are just having the, the packing size like whatever the size of this particular library is it is only 56.6 kb and if you go on the internet and search for some like other third party like ngx toaster maybe i'm just giving an example ngx toaster so if you see the package size so it will actually like this is so bad as you can see it is having a size of 456 which is very big so i can say that mine one is very lightweight so you can make use of this library in your application and it will not increase your build size that much all right so without any further ado i'm going to start with the step number one to step number five so it is a five step process by which you can make use of this ng angular pop-up all right so as you can see i have also a medium link also there in this particular website you can follow that link and you can come on this page and you can see all the steps written written steps for to install this particular ng angular pop-up all right so let me just get into the video first that what what thing we are going to implement all right so i'm assuming that you already have an angular application installed if not then you can create a new angular application or you can use that in existing like existing application as well so so as you can see as already having an angular application running here so this is a login page just wanted to show one thing here that if if i log in here if the login is success okay so at that time i can see there is an alert that login is successful login successfully and i can press ok and i can go inside it okay but if you see that ui doesn't look that good because we are using windows alert and suppose if i did some mistake here that my username is incorrect and if i try to log in so it's not showing anything because it is failing actually in the back end let me just show you that by using console that the login failed okay that 404 user not found let me show you again that there is an error but there is no nothing is displayed on the ui okay so for this kind of usage we are going to use this particular library all right so now so as you can see we have an angular application already ready so i am going to go into that application now and i'll perform the first step so what is the first step to do so first thing we have to install this particular package and what is the package how to install it we just have to say npm install let me just zoom in a bit so that you can see quite quite clearly so this is the command which we have to like trigger npm install ng angular pop-up okay and hit enter okay so as you enter so let's wait for it to get installed okay it will take around 20 to 30 seconds so let's wait till the time okay so i can see that the package is installed successfully now the step number one is done so what is the step number two so we have to if you go here on my blog so you can see the step number two is we have to add font or some cdn link and you can go on my blog and you can just copy this link from there or i will provide this link in the description below so you that you can do the step number two so just come here in the index.html and paste this link okay so this is the cdn link for font awesome 4.7 if you want to just search it by your own then you can go on this w3 school or you can just you can grab it from anywhere on the internet but i will provide this link in the description so don't worry so the step number two is also done all right so let's jump to the step number three what is that so we have to go inside our app module and we have to import ng toast module all right so let's go here in the imports and i can directly just say ng toast module okay i can you can see i'm getting this option to import so you can see on the top it is auto imported as well import ng toast module from ng angular pop-up so once you imported this 
and also you have mentioned in in the array so step number three is also done okay so what is the step number four we have to use the selector so for the selector you have to you can copy the selector if you want from my blog okay or you can just remember that we have to use lib hyphen ng hyphen toast okay so i will directly go and copy paste here so this selector is also added so step number four is done all right so let's jump to the step number five step number five is basically the usage so all the setup is done and i want to use it now in my login component because in the login component i want to display that alert if my login is success i want to give success response if my login is failed then i want to give the error response okay so i'll go here in this component and i will inject the service so first of all i want to import that service so i'll import from where I want to import, I want to import it from ng angular popup. Okay, you can see I'm getting the option. And what is the name of the service? It is ng toast service. And now I have to use this inside our, I have to inject it in, in our constructor. So I'll give it a name first private toast toast service. Sorry, ng toast service. Okay now i want to use this toast now so what i'll do so i'll go inside my this login logic and you can see it was using that windows alert okay now i'll replace this with my own created toast so i'll say this dot toast dot i want to display a success response so i'll say success and this uh, uh, this accepts an uh, what we say an object of itoast so it needs three things details so we can put details so what is that which this is a success response so i can see this is success message okay then what is the second thing i can add i can add a summary that what went wrong and what error or what success message you want to show so in the summary you can add that login is success okay or we can say login successfully whatever you want to put your message or what I'll do, I'll just I'll just use the response message which I am getting. So whatever I was alerting, so I'll use this response message directly. Or you can give your own custom message as well if you want. Okay. In the summary, you have added the message, and now we have to add duration. So okay, I'll add duration for five thousand milliseconds, which is equivalent to five seconds. So this is for my success response. Okay. What if there is an error? So for that, I will create an error block and i will create again same toast message so let me copy this and paste it here and this time i'll say this dot error so this dot toast dot error and i'll change it to error message and i can change this summary let me create my own custom message that login failed try again later okay so let's save this now let's save all the changes and let's see if our compile is success so yeah we can see compiled successfully let's go on our application okay so this is our application now let's close it okay so what is the actual username password is admin at that one two three and password is one two three four five six so this is the correct one so if i click on login okay so i have to remove that but you can see this message is showing that login successfully all right so let's check let's try to save this index.html because we have an error here okay because of which it is not showing so we have to change this to this okay it was reversed so i'll change this to this now let's save this uh, there was an issue with this link so i'll provide this is the reason i'll provide that you don't copy it from the medium because that was having some backward error so like backward kind of string error so don't use it so yeah so let me go here and let me check again let me go back and let me try to log in again but this time i want to remove that alert because that is bad it was showing again so i will remove this alert now i'll save this all right now i will click on login i can see login success okay and this was the message success message and it will wait for five seconds and it, it auto close after five seconds all right so now let's make a error 
okay let me change the username to admin and this is the wrong username password and if i try to log in i can see error message now with this toast login failed try again later and it's waited for 5 seconds so what if, if i want to increase the duration so let me increase the duration to 15 seconds for error let's save this and let's go here okay if i again click on login this is success for so it is for 5 second only it will go after 5 second okay and now let's do some wrong mistake in the username and try to log in and let's see how much time will it pay waits i'm expecting it's more than 5 seconds so yeah you can see this more than 5 seconds it is waiting and it will wait till 15 seconds but what if if you want to close it like if you don't want it to stay for that long then you can change the duration or else you can do one more thing that you can use this cancel button and this will be closed instantly all right so in the same way you can use for error you can use for success you can use for info so let me give a demo for info as well can give let me keep this summary same let me save this and let me again give wrong credential to to show that pop up again for the info and you can see this is this is how it looks for info message if you want to show some information message to the user so you, you can use this one and if you want to show some warning so you can use this warning one and let me change this to warning and just you can see that whatever details I'm changing here, so whatever it is in block letter, so this is what it is showing on the UI. So if I change this, if I go here again, let me reproduce that error again. This time it, I'm expecting that warning and I can see warning message. Okay, so this is what I was telling. So on the top it is our detail and below is our summary. And this is what the font or some icon is. So this is the reason that we have to have this particular link in our index.html. All right. So this is all about how we can use this ng angular pop-up. Okay. If you have any doubt related to this, so you can mention that in the comment section, or you can also mention it on the telegram on telegram also, because I will provide that link in the description for my telegram channel link. And also you can make use of this comment section of medium. If you face any issue related to this. All right. So, so that's it for me. If you want anything specific or if you want any help related to the project, then you can contact me again on Telegram. Alright, so till that time, bye bye and keep learning guys.